what's up guys you all wanted a tutorial on how i make my 3d text on blur so um here i am so first i will make a project on the default settings and firstly i will import a shape import a shape i will make this shape called pink and i will um I'm adding this because it will make the text um, uh, it will make the text more visible. So first we add a text. Um, I'm going to select um, this font right here, lemon milk. You can select any font you want, but I highly recommend Vampire Wars or Lemon Milk font for 3D text. So I'm, I'm going to only put R because it's the first letter of my name. As you can see, um, I will just um, put that to the side so I can input the rest uh, after I'm done with this, with making this text um, 3D. So first we need to do is select 3D. After doing that, we have to go to transform. Then, um, in position, you have to um, select a keyframe right at the start and also at the back. All right. From the start, you have to um, position that keyframe, position that text on where you want where you want your um text to start it just like this so it isn't looking the best right now so to fix that i'm going to select my graph right here you guys can copy my graph because um this works best for 3d texts um as you can see it looks much better now so after doing that this is the time for where we actually make the text 3d so we go to rotate and um, we have to select a keyframe at the very start of your text and then also at the back after doing that you have to um play with your values to the point where you think it's good enough i selected mine and you have to select this graph for every um sector right here as you can see it looks um really good now i'm just going to set the back in front of it yeah so um we are pretty much done with the with the first letter what you are going to do is you have to duplicate this text right here and after duplicating you have to um, group this and I'm just going to um, change the letter to the second letter of my name as you can see um, so I'm going to adjust the values now I'm going to um, move the back keyframe at the front a little bit so it so it is easier for me to um see where it's gonna end yeah after doing that you can move your back keyframe all the way to the back then i'm going to um select where this part this letter starts just going to Make that there and um, yeah see then I'm going to go to rotate and play with their values okay you guys can also do this I'm just going to um, adjust the back in front of it. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the second letter. Now let's move on to the third. I'm just going to duplicate the second letter 
and then group the and then also group the second letter text then i'm going to change the third letter to the third letter of my name then i'm going to move the back keyframe at the front a little bit then i'm going to um adjust this yeah and then move it all the way to the back and i'm just going to do this as where i want it to start just a moment and then i will have to go to rotate and um play with uh, play with the keyframes i mean values yeah it should look something like this then we are done for the third letter then i'm going to um duplicate this and group that then i'm going to move on with the fourth letter of my name which is the last one um i'm just going to speed run this i'm sure you guys have the idea we're not done yet um i'm just going to group this now for the tricky part you need to um go to the first letter of your name and then select generate then add long shadow to your text i'm going to um set the length of this shadow as five as four we have to um go to every frame then set a keyframe at every frame so we're going to add the first one here the second one we don't have to change anything and the third one we will um, reduce the length by one and then by another frame we don't have to do anything and another frame we have to decrease this by one and then another frame yeah, we don't have to do anything and going by this we have to um select this frame and go by one two three four five we have to go by five frames and reduce our length by one it will make a small animation um which looks um like a real after effects 3d text as you can see it looks real nice now we are going to do this um with every text if uh, if this doesn't look right um with your text you can angle your um shadow to the point where you feel like it's um perfect i'm just going to adjust this as five I'm going to move by every frame and select a keyframe. Yeah, go by two. And then for the last part, move by some frames and then select it to one. Looks fine. Now for the third letter. Yeah, I have um, uh, done all the long shadow part and you can see it looks really good and it looks like a 3D text. Now we're going to select uh, and go to text and click scrolling text and um you can adjust the colors and stuff i want to do it because this video is already already too long i'm just going to um delete that shape and 
and uh, copy this paste and up and paste and paste so guys um here is the 3d text you can see it looks pretty good so that's pretty much it for the tutorial have a nice day